Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial video. Uh, I believe it's the second one that I've done so far and this time I will be uh, pretty much explaining what I use to my quality. For example my uh, recording device, uh, my audio and as well as my render settings and everything. However I will leave away the audio, I use uh, Audacity, just some settings you just have to figure out. It's not that important, just make sure it's a bit quality. And uh, while it should be good to go, it's very easy to get that. But the main thing is how to get the good quality on the videos itself. Uh, it got requested and I was like, ah, this is different, so uh, let me just do that. But I won't talk for too long because you might not be interesting in all this uh, talking. You might want to just see what I got. Um, first of all, I got the open broadcast software as you might have known from previous videos. It will be in the description with the download, it's completely free, so uh, that's just fine. So let's start off with this screen over here, you started it up and this is what you have right here. Um, I will go into the sources later, first we're gonna just go into the settings. Um, general, I would say create a new profile, I um, went for unlisted, I named it Minecraft. And uh, then I just saved it I believe, um, I've done it quite a time. I would say you can just save it right here, let me try that, let's say hi, yeah and then you just click add and you should be good. So I'm gonna go back to the Minecraft here. Uh, language, just put in what you like, I got English because well if you have questions, if you look it up in English you most likely get an answer and if you look it up in for example Dutch, it's way harder to actually get it so that's why I use English. For the rest, um, I have not really looked at this, all these things are not really um, a change for the quality. I just got this one because, well, I watched the video as well on it. And this was pretty much what it came to the conclusion. So, um, there's some text here, changing the language will require restarting, well, that's just fine, just restart it then. But let's go into the encoding right here, um, I'm not gonna save all these changes, I d believe I didn't even make them. So here we got some settings to encoder, uh, I believe you have the choice, I just went for this one, well I can't actually click any other one. Um, this one is all for me, and the quality, you can choose how much quality you have, I got 10 quality. Keep in mind that the more quality, the bigger the file will be, the harder to render, the longer to upload. And uh, I'd say the harder it is for your computer, I guess. Um, I just use 10, I don't have any problems with uh, OBS, it's very, uh, well it works really great. And let's see for the audio, I got uh, 48KHZ, uh, and that's just fine, codec AA. Uh, bitrate 128 as you can just read and channel stereo, you can pretty much just read it off the screen. Um, I'd say that's just fine settings. And let's go to the broadcast settings over here, I'm not gonna save them again. Um, here you can just put in what you like, pretty much uh, file output, it's mainly for live streaming this program, however it works great for recording as well, just you have to change some settings. For example the file path, you have to fill that in, however keep in mind when you go to browser, for example, um, uh, here we have my recording, you can't actually click save. So what you do, you just click this, you click copy, um, I use Ctrl C, you can also right click and copy, then you cancel it, then you go in here, delete this and just click paste and then it works completely fine. However, I'm not gonna do that because I wanna save it right here. For the rest, the start stream, this is just for live stream, you don't actually need that. Uh, the start recording, just put in what you like, I got F10 because F9 is for fraps and I don't wanna change that, so I stick with the F10. So let's go to the video where it actually is all about here, I'm not gonna save that. Um, first of all the video adapter, I think you only have one choice and that's just this. For, and for the rest the base resolution, I would say put it on custom because this is the f screen, this is the size of YouTube. And um, otherwise just select your monitor, monitor 1, monitor 2, as you see there's a difference for me because when I'm recording I adjust the monitor just how I like it. But custom works great too, I would say though. Make sure that everything is just um, tw two, no, 1280 by 720, so you have the correct size or bigger, but as long as it is in the aspect ratio of 16 by 9. For the resolution downscale, I got none, that means I don't want to, anything to change because it would just go look weird. I suggest you don't do that either. For the rest of FPS, this is quite important. I tried to set it higher to like, what is it, 60 or so, and I noticed that I was getting less FPS in game than when I set it to 30. 
And for the rest, the video quality was just the same. It was just more difficult for me to play. So I would say just keep it at 30 because it will record more. But 30 is just stable and I can record really easy with it. I get like 10 FPS loss and that's just great. For the rest, disable all our aero uh, thingy. I will go into that later on because it, it depends on what you're going to use um, to record. As you might look at if, yeah, if you look at this over here, the sources... Um, if you, it depends which one you choose, if you have to put this on or off, but that we will go into that later. And let's go to the audio, you know, I'm still not going to save it. Audio desktop device, let's see, you can choose here, I would say choose default, however, always test it first. Um, for example, when you do a commentary with someone else, make sure to set it to, for example, your headset or to your speakers or default, but make sure to test it first just in case and you can always adjust it later. The microphone, I have disabled it because I like to record with Audacity, my voice, myself. I don't want to uh, do that with this program because it's just less quality. So I'd say use Audacity because that's just great. Um, for the rest, force microphone to mono, no. Um, show only connected devices, well that's just that's just normal. Uh, push to talk, I don't like that either, I just like to talk. Um, uh, it's not really, it's not really, um, yeah, it's not really for me because I have this disabled. Uh, mute, also nothing, that's just all for a live stream. But we're talking about just recording here now. And all this, you can just leave it as it is. I believe it's just these settings because I didn't change anything about that either. And then we go to the advanced. No, I'm not gonna save that. So let's see, multi-threaded optimization, um, process priority clause. I put it on high. I'd say you can do that as well. Um, I don't actually know what it does, but it works for me. And all this is just the same. Um, very fast, you keep that in mind. If you change it, it will give a if a, give a program, it give a warning and everything. So I would say keep it at very fast because that works just fine. Encoding profile, I got it on high. I guess high is always better. And um, for the rest, you can just read all these settings. Allow this. Um, that's just uh, that's just needed in case you want no. In case you want, uh, where is it? In case you want this FPS to be higher, I'd say, I'd say just leave it at 30. But yeah, if you want to change that, it's up to you. But you will have to do this one if you want it higher than 60. And um, the audio, I didn't change anything here. I didn't change anything there. So that's fine. And the mi microphone, this is nothing for us, at least for me, because I don't have a microphone for this. I use that Audacity for that. So um, let's leave that and let's go to the screen over here. You have a scene right here. I'd say that's just the scene. It's always there. And the sources. Well, you might want to pay attention here because, well, I, I messed up here at the start when I started using it. What you want to do, you want to right click, you want to add, and you want to add game capture. As you can see, I got it right there. So when you got it right here, you just click right click again, go to properties, and you will get this screen over here. Make sure that you um, go look in here and you just refresh and select your Minecraft or anything you want to record it. And uh, I got the mouse cursor here selected, the rest is off and everything is just pretty much the same. But that's how you use uh, the game capture. And if we go back to the Aurora or something, you can leave this off when you use game capture because it's not needed. And um, then we go to the window capture. If you want to use this, I believe you do have to use Aurora. It's the same thing, you just have to refresh it here, select all this. And uh, well, I'd say use game capture because it works just fine and it works great. Monitor capture, if you want to do, for example, a tutorial, I am using something else to record this now. But you can use that just clicking, I will show you as well. Right here, it looks a lot like the window capture, but just the monitor right here selected. But okay, and there you see a Rero or something is disabled. You will have to enable that as well. However, I would say if you record a game, just use the game capture. And uh, well, that's it for the open broadcast software. Now we're just going to take a look at what I use in Sony Vegas. So I'm just going to close this off. I'm going to open Sony Vegas right here. So let's take a look. I got my audio right, no, my video right there. I grab that in and we're going to take a look. Well, first... I want to show you this. If I go to new right here, I do not want to save it. Uh, if you go take a look in here, use this template. I uh, looked this all up. You have a giant choice. I just say use this one. You can also go for one of these, but this is just fine. For the rest, um, use this height because as I told you, that's the YouTube. 
and that's fine um field order non pixel aspect ratio i got it on 1000 just the highest possible frame rate i put it on 929 9, 970 because well that's just fine and that's good and that's just what you can see and otherwise you won't really see a difference uh stereo off i believe that's just the basics um, composing grandma is also basic full resolution rendering I'd say use good or use best because that's just the best possible motion blur um, I, I have no idea it's just it was there already and for the rest I believe it's everything just the same so let's take a look at audio it's on stereo you can just look around here it's pretty much it's just fine I, I don't think I changed a lot here because well this project settings are not that important because well it's not really uh, eventually when you render you use different settings anyway so I'm just gonna skip this because it's not really needed and um, let me actually go back I believe does that work no it doesn't well I'm just gonna quickly open a new file so let's see media bins all files let me just open something right here let me uh, just open this video right there so here I got a recording of a game I did previously the sound and everything it's uh, just loading right here but yeah um I am just gonna go to the rendering here so you go to render as and uh, you might want to make a new template I'm gonna just drag that in because it appears on my other screen there we go and um, this is what you see well you can just pretty much um, use the folder that you like uh, I got it right there because that's the last I used you can give a name and uh, if first if you don't have any favorites yet you get this screen over here well a lot of stuff and um, well what I did I just customized a template I do not know for sure which one I used I believe I used this one in right here internet HD 720p and what you do you click on custom make templates and then I'm going to this one to show you but you pretty much click on that one and then custom template and you get here I would say change the name and save it as one of what you like I got YouTube HD upload because well that's just easy and let's take a look this is all just how you had it in the in the what is it in the run no in the thingy you had already in the project settings and uh, we're just gonna go through here the variable bitrate I believe I changed that and um, I put maximum on 10 million and the uh, average on 8 million which is great it works good let's take a look enable progressive download well I guess that's up as well pixel aspect ratio is on 1000 and blah 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 that's all just the same so let's take a look at the audio um 480 i believe there was something and this one as well i believe it was something with that because youtube doesn't give and doesn't support any better audio than that so you don't have to bother about that making that really high because youtube doesn't support it so just stick with that because that's the easiest and the quickest to render uh, keep in mind that all these render settings do take a long time to render for me it can take up to one hour to render like 15 to 20 minutes video so oh i actually changed this audio i need to be 128 so let's take a look at the system that's just the same and the project um i use the video rendering quality the best unless i have a short amount of time then i just use the project settings because it does change the time of the render just a bit but if you want the best you click on best for the rest you can just leave it as it is you click ok and you I would say click on favorite so you can easily find it back when you click show favorites only and I'm just gonna delete this one if that's possible no it's not but yeah there you go pretty much all that you want uh, the YouTube HD upload I'm just gonna cancel this now but that's what you wanna have when you're gonna render a video because well it has great uh, quality as you can see on my videos I believe my quality is quite good and these are the settings that I use I thought I'd just let you know because it got requested and it was quite a difference so I hope you all enjoyed that I hope it was uh, useful if you have any questions just let me know down in the description below I'll be happy to answer them if something is messed up I'll let you know as well um, I'm pretty sure that I understand the software a bit but yeah that's just fine I'm just gonna delete it right here now but yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll see if I can answer them. Otherwise, I'll look them up for you. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like for the tutorial. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.